It's a rare sight, a freestanding public phone booth. This one happens to have an unparalleled view of the Russian river mouth in Jenner, California. When's the last time you needed one of those? Wi-Fi services to Jenner are just horrible. So we just decided to celebrate the unplugged experience. People really slow down, they read the paper, they talk to their friends, they talk to the people sitting next to them. It's like helping people to reconnect with nature by playing in the living environment that I grew up in. <laughs> My name is Suki Waters, and um, I went to school here in Jenner at the one-room uh, schoolhouse. My family's from here. My grandmother was born in the native village on Goat Rock Beach. Suki's ancestors farmed and ranched on what is now called Penny Island. Suki maintains the family connection to the land and the estuary through her kayak rentals. And as a certified naturalist, she guides school kids through the history and flora and fauna of the river. It's such an honor to be able to carry on the tradition of serving our community as my family has done for many generations. I consider myself a sustainability advocate. A lot of times people miss this little gem, little slice of heaven at the edge of the world. <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is restorative. My name is Arthur Moretti. We recently purchased the Jenner Inn, myself and three other partners. In you know, you drive around the bend from the 116 interchange, and there's just something in the air. It's the, maybe it's the light, maybe it's just the mix of the river and the sea. You just feel transported to a different time and place. And hospitality to me is it's not just hotel. It doesn't mean just a, a, a place to sell a room to somebody. I think it's inviting someone else into our home. Okay. Can I get some yeah, sure. Okay, okay, just a sec. Yeah, my name is, real name is Lakbir Singh, but I go by Larry, which is, uh, everybody knows me here. Uh, in particular, I, I'm basically from India. I moved to this country in 1989. Both my brothers, I am the youngest in the family, were here. And they kind of got me, uh, sponsored me, and I came here. I lived in San Francisco, did, did, did other jobs. Larry and his wife Naz took over the gas station, grocery, and deli in 2006. Later, they opened a small gift shop and a wine bar. You know, I live in Jenner, so my commute is good. <laughs> and, you know, I enjoy people. We are the only store here at any needs, you know. There's a gas station and a convenience store right here. People need milk, coffee, uh, small stuff. They don't have to go to town. You know, it's a drive, you know, going, going to Garnville, it's, like, it's a drive. My name is Rachel Klinsky, the owner of Cafe Aquatica in Jenner. Rachel was a customer first, then staff, and then at the age of 25, she became its sole owner. Something I always wanted to do was work for myself um, and create my future on my own. So I'm really driven by that, um, by creativity and by learning every day new experiences as far as not like being the owner of something, but just someone who's taking care and tending to the land and tending to the community. So I see myself more as a tender and steward of this place and not so much mine, but just making sure that we keep it pristine and beautiful and yeah, as natural as possible. So that's definitely a priority of mine. My name is Bert Rangel and I've been the owner of the River's End for about 23 years. How he came to be here is a very long and fascinating story. So I noticed this winding road that meandered to the Jenner area. With twists and turns. And I open up the paper and there's a picture of the River's End for sale. Which we won't get into here. And so the big joke that weekend was, I'm gonna buy a restaurant this weekend. I'm gonna buy a restaurant this weekend. This former project manager did have the family background for the job. My dad was a good, hardworking Mexican man that had his two jobs and beautiful home in, in Southern California. Worked hard for it. And they didn't have really hobbies. They, their hobby was entertaining friends. Dad was already vacuuming the house at 8, 8 a.m., cleaning the house, and mom was preparing food, and they really had a good time. This community is small, smaller than you think. The people that actually live here are very engaged in the community. It's really an impressive example. There's no high-rises or buildings. Or, it hasn't been developed. 
And it's thanks to the community that's been able to keep things the same. For, for all these visitors that come in, they want to protect beauty like this. Uh, this is the, the case study. And it's because of a, a community that gets involved and that knows that their voice should be heard. The whole transition of, of the, the Russian River and the ocean. I, I think of life, you know, the Russian River, you know, you never know where it's around the next corner and it's this, it's constantly changing. And then right when you think that it's, it's all over, uh, no, there's something even bigger ahead, the ocean. Thank you.